this is Starla, back again to talk a little bit more about sleep. As we discussed in the last video, not sleeping well can make you irritable and sluggish, and everybody has difficulty sleeping sometimes, but it shouldn't be all the time. And if it is, you should talk with your healthcare provider about what might be causing you not to sleep well. Women, unfortunately, are much more likely to have difficulty sleeping than men. Things like our menstrual cycle, like mood disorders, like menopause, can all affect our sleep. So I've got here several steps that women can try to help improve their sleep. Number one, try to make a routine of going to bed and getting up in the morning about the same time each day, even on the weekends. Now, this is easier said than done with little ones for sure. Another thing, try to make a bedtime routine that is calming and relaxing, such as reading or listening to some music. Good idea to avoid your computers and your phone screens as the blue and green lights can make it more difficult to fall asleep. Number two, try to not take naps after 3 p.m. And if you absolutely need a nap, make it only about 20 minutes, a quick power nap. And that way it won't make it as difficult to fall asleep at night. Number three, try to avoid caffeine and alcohol late in the day. Caffeine can stay in our system for up to 10 hours after we drink it. So this can really affect our bedtime routines. Number four, try to avoid nicotine completely. This can increase the heart rate and it can increase your blood pressure and acts as a stimulant and makes it much more difficult to relax in the evenings. Number five, get regular exercise, but avoid it two to three hours before your bedtime. This also can act as a stimulant, increase our heart rate, increase our metabolism, and makes it more difficult to fall asleep. Number six, don't eat a big meal before bedtime. A snack before bed is great and it actually helps our blood sugars, but keep it light. Number seven, make your bedroom a comfortable, relaxing, calm place. Keep the temperature not too hot and not too cold, and that can help with sleep. And number eight, if you can't fall asleep after 20 minutes of lying in bed, get up and do something that's calming and relaxing that'll make you sleepy. Number nine, there are some sleepy time teas and some supplements such as melatonin and valerian root, which can possibly help us fall asleep, but be sure and check with your healthcare provider before you take any of these to make sure they're safe. If these suggestions don't help and you still are having difficulty sleeping, please check with your healthcare provider to check to see if there's anything going on that could be affecting your sleep that's more serious. And as always, follow our website at 307 Midwife for more information. See you soon.